So, here's another mini so for you guys. Uh, this one's talking about an anime that I just started watching that, you know, people have told me to watch. And I said I was going to watch it because of certain reasons. It's actually free, the Iwatobi Swim Club. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking is that this is a pretty much a yaoi anime. But it's really not. Don't get me wrong, the fan service is geared towards the ladies, which... Honestly speaking, how many of those do they really have that's not full-on yaoi? But the story is actually not that bad. Pretty much about these guys who had a swim club back in elementary, and they all meet back up in high school, and they want to start another one. Except for one guy is automatically an evil dude who has, like, fangs or something. I'm not quite sure why. But I've only seen one episode of it so far, and it looks like it can be pretty deep. You know, they're... Doing some of the tropes that I'm not really too much of a fan of. Like, the main character has this really, really weird addiction to water. Like, really big addiction to water. Like, the first episode, he actually was wearing his swimsuit while taking a bath. Then, while cooking. And had his swimsuit on when he went to school. Even though there's no swim club in the high school they're in right now. I guess it was more of an establishing episode to show, like, this is who this person is, this is how this person is, this is how this person is. And this is how we're going to go with it. They established the rivalry is going to happen between the main character and the kid who has the fangs or like that. I'm not a big fan of the cutesy wootsy character. There's one guy there who's just obviously there just to have the whole um, male lowly, I guess you can say. He's, like, too cute for his own good. I'm not quite sure what this place is going to be in the anime, but I guess, you know, they can develop it more. Then you have the all-around best friend guy who's just like, oh, I'm the best friend, yay. I understand this person more than anyone else does. So, you know, all the worst stuff that happens that he does, not doesn't affect me at all. Everyone else freaks out, but not me. It's just, I'm wondering where it's going to go, but I just hope it doesn't go too, does, it evolves past what it is right now. Because that whole little, he's addicted to sleep, uh, he's a, the whole little thing about him being addicted to just swimming all the time and not really swimming, I think it'll get really old really quick. But then again, like I said, this might be a fan service anime for females. And we all know on the male side, the fan service anime that's for us really doesn't have that good of story half the time. Half the time. Sometimes they do. You know, recently some ones have come out like High School of the Dead and Freezing have come out with good storytelling. But I think it's a nice change of pace to see a fan service anime that's that's geared towards women. And even if it's geared towards that, I'm still going to watch it and see how good it really is. So I'm going to catch out some more of it. You know, the theme song is actually pretty, pretty boss. It's really rocking out. I like it so far. Let's just see where it goes from here. I try to keep up the best I can with it and give you guys my... Things on it. So this is Rebel Mini number two, talking about free episode one. So hope you guys enjoy it. That's in episode two. I'll see you guys later.